Hey guys, it's Saf here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today we are doing another blessing spotlight, and this is going to be on a blessing that you probably haven't even given a second thought to, and that is of Lethal Dose. So I'm in Fiction's account here because he has managed to get a six-star Awakened Elenaral, one of the few champions in the game that can actually do Poison Explosion. And we're going to be looking at Lethal Dose. It is an epic blessing. And it increases the damage enemies receive from poison debuffs placed by this champion in the arena. Now, obviously, if you're going to cap a blessing exclusively to an arena, PvP only, it's really going to limit its value over something that can be used everywhere. So that already is a bit of a problem. This blessing would have to be pretty darn powerful for you to actually limit it in that fashion. Now, I can imagine the reason why they have done this is obviously... Theodore, Calvalax, that kind of team that is out there at the moment is incredibly fast and strong already. The last thing you want to be doing is doubling the poison damage. So I can see why they've capped it. However, by capping it to the arena, they've kind of made this blessing a little bit pointless. We also have a high awakening bonus. We'll ignore 35% of each target's resistance when placing poison debuffs on an enemy champion in the arena. Okay, so the one question I had with this blessing when I first saw the text description come out was how is it going to work in the two ways that we can sort of manipulate poisons? There's two ways. There's poison activators, people like Theodore, Dark Kale, uh, I think uh, Tyre as well, who actually just trigger the poison debuff. They don't actually consume it. They don't do anything with it. They force it to take a turn. Those are poison activators versus someone like a Elenaral or a Zavia who are poison exploders who consume all the poison debuffs and their turn duration convert it into enemy max HP then fire it back on the enemy kind of the same but they're, they're actually importantly different in certain areas poison activators you can get past the enemy max HP passives poison exploders you cannot because you're converting them into enemy max HP damage it changes the damage profile instead of them being a poison debuff they're now a, an actual direct damage debuff when you're using a poison exploder so that was my main question is it going to multiply the final damage by 1.5 or is it just going to change the poison quantity from a 5% to a 7.5% now when I've done the math on this I think it wouldn't make too much of a difference because I think it's going to work out exactly the same number. However, one thing I have noticed when I was looking into this, the effect has to be placed by this champion. So you can't have other poisoners like a Taurus or a Calvalax placing poisons and then use Lethal Dose on Elenaral to boost those poisons. Elenaral herself here would have to place all of the poisons. This makes this blessing effectively useless. It is probably one of the worst blessings in the entire game to the point where I don't think anyone will ever use this blessing. I did have some hopes with Zavia. Zavia can obviously block revive, but the fact you have to actually place the poison yourself, there's no way that champions like Elenaro, you know, she places a poison and a second poison. So that would be effectively 7.5% potentially at 15% damage. So she can place 15% of the enemy max HP damage on her ability here. And I think if we look at Zavia, who is in the Dark Elf faction, she can place potentially 15% and obviously a single chance to place more poisons on the A1. The problem you're going to have here is because you've now not only capped it to PvP, you've also capped it exclusively to the champion placing the poisons you actually can't get an insane amount of value from this lethal dose at all. So let's talk about how Poison Explosion works. It's different to activators in the sense that it takes all of the duration of all the poisons and eats them into a new multiplier. It's called Instant to Continuous Damage Multiplier. So the way that it works is it effectively takes a 5% poison on two turns. That becomes 10%. It takes enemy max HP times 10%. And that's the damage it then deals as direct damage, not as a poison debuff. When that direct damage happens, it can ignore 100% of the enemy's defense. It cannot crit. You cannot blow it up. You cannot make it any more. It is a consistent damage output. It cannot roll on the 20% range of damage we normally see with other direct damage abilities. So you will always get that 0% consistent even damage output. You do not need accuracy to remove poisons. That is not a requirement. You also will have a, an issue with bosses where all poison explosion damage is halved by bosses. 
That isn't in every skill description, but it is the case in all the game code. Every exploder has that passive and it won't be able to bypass enemy max HP passives that reduce it to say cap it at 10%. So those are the things you need to keep in mind about how you deal damage with poison explosion. So in summary, damage can be increased by skill books. So Zarvia will always be a better poison exploder than Eleonaro because she has damage in her skill books. Masteries can also increase the damage as well as weaken. Those can improve the damage output. They are multiplied at the end. The things that cannot be increased are ignore defense, obviously, because we're already ignoring 100% defense, and any sort of stats such as attack and crit damage. The build you have on your exploder is actually not that important. You could put any stats you want in the world. The only thing you need to keep in mind is if you want to use their other abilities, such as the A2 on Xavier and on Eleanor, you will need accuracy for that purpose. I just want to give a shout out to most of this information was tested by Stu Gaming a while ago. I know he doesn't make any videos on Raid anymore, but uh, I don't want to be uh, just stealing his content. I did use uh, his video as a point of reference and a few tests myself, but you know, shout out to him for doing all the testing this way back when this was a, a bit of a uh, question mark. So with that said, let's do some testing. Now, Fiction has built Eleanor in sort of a savage, weird build here, full savage cruel. Obviously, we just noted that you don't need any ignore defense. I think he's just built this for the sake of building it. It's got 316 accuracy, just a standard kind of build. And what I've done is I've built an arena team here. I'm going to fight in this team, which has basically got a lot of poisons. We've got Calvalax that can apply it on a passive. Badel is going to apply it on his cleanse. And then we've got Eleanor. So the idea is you go boost into double poison into nuke, for a better word. Let's have a look at how well this does. So Calvalax is going to come in. He's going to place loads of different poisons out there. So we've already got a fair chunk. Now, remember, the way the poison explosion works is duration as well as count. So if we look at the Seer here, we've got essentially 10, 20, 30, and then we've got 45% damage on that Seer there because we're, we're counting 5% times duration. Now we're going to put a few more out. So we're now at another one here. So Seer is now at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70% essentially because we've got that many debuffs out here. We could probably throw Calvlax and attack here on the A1. Now we've got all these poisons out here. Can Eleanor one shot? The answer is no. And this is not a strong team. Now let's throw exactly the same team here and let's see if it does any better gain there. Obviously we killed the Seer because we hit it with Calvlax. Let's throw in now Eleanor's Lethal Dose and let's see if it makes a difference. Now keep in mind, as I mentioned at the start of this video, she has to be the one placing these poisons. So I'm expecting this test to have zero impact on the outcome of the battle because she herself is not placing the debuffs. We're using her as the explosion. This is kind of the fundamental problem with this blessing. So we're going to run exactly the same team, but we've now got Lethal Dose. Let's see if it makes a big difference. Now, there's always a chance that this is bugged and all these poisons are going to work for Eleanor, even though it shouldn't, but we'll see what happens. So we've got 70% on the uh, on the Seer. I'm not going to hit her this time. I'm going to hit the shield here. Let's see if we can kill anyone. Does it make any difference? No. What is the point of Lethal Dose? It has zero benefit in this game because there is no way if I can't use the blessing to improve all poisons, this is not going to work because the idea is you finish with Xavier El Narl, you don't start with them. So unless I've got a six star lethal dose Calvalax, a six star lethal dose Bad L, this is never going to work. It's actually quite useless. And how many people have fully maxed out six star champions? It's almost impossible. So let's try a different team here. Let's just throw in Chagor, see if we can actually take a few turns and get El Narl's poisons off. This is like severely not a great idea but we're just going to do this get some cleansing out obviously the idea here is we're going to throw out some poisons see her a2 has hit more damage so she's just going to kill people with direct hit the poisons are just so inconsequential here we're going to throw this out and to be honest what does it matter because he's never going to get a turn now because effectively chico is going to sleep him every time that's kind of the lethal dose there's not much to, to know about it it's actually trash it's the worst blessing of all of them probably paired with the one next to it which is incinerate that's the only that's the other one which we'll do another spotlight on this but it'll be the same issue you cap it at arena to make sure that it doesn't become overpowered in pve but the problem is it's so niche in arena it's almost impossible to activate it 
Sure, I'm getting a nice 50 accuracy. I'm getting 10 speed. That's pretty awesome, right? These these are these are decent stats for the arena. But this 50% chance to increase the damage and then a lower chance to place poisons, those poisons are just going to get cleansed. It's just an absolute waste of a blessing. It needs to be completely reworked in some fashion. How would I rework it? I like the idea that you're trying to like create some sort of arena-only blessings, but I think it probably needs to be something like Get rid of the concept of lethal dose. Get rid of the concept of poisons. Let's make this has a 30% chance when fully awakened to protect a debuff when it is placed in arena. Now, you may think that's too powerful for an epic. I don't think it is. I think it's amazing. I think that's fine. If you even wanted to move it to a legendary and swap one of the legendaries down, like, I think this is this could be an epic blessing. It does not need to be a, uh, a legendary. Swap that around. Let's have a blessing that allows us to place debuffs in a protected mode because this is utter trash. I try to always find a positive in these videos, but to be honest, I can't find any use for this blessing whatsoever. I've got a fully maxed out LNR and it does zero impact to her ability to actually be used in arena. In PvE, you'd never use it. It doesn't work in PvE. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see more of these blessings, I'll be doing all the blessings eventually. I'm working through it. Soul Reap will probably be the next one up. Please subscribe to our channel and that will come straight into your feed. But until next time, I will catch you in the next video.